As we know, Halo Reach, when it was initially released, had some questionable settings. Later on through its lifespan, it got updated, and now they're going to bring that Master Chief Collection version of Reach to us. So what kind of settings are we going to see? Is it going to be a tile update? Is it going to be original? Mix of the two? The answer might not be as straightforward as you might think. So let's get into this, guys, and stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news update video when it comes to Halo Reach MCC awesomeness here. If you like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you think the settings should be for Halo Reach coming to the MCC. Do you think it should be strictly title update? Do you think it should be no bloom at all? Do you think it should be original? How it came out back in 2010? Let me know in the comments section. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, must stay up to date with anything Halo related, that's Halo Infinite, Halo MCC, Halo 5, everything in between, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video here. As we all know, we are very excited about having Halo Reach come to the MCC and not only on MCC, but also on PC, which is going to be a fantastic experience here. So now we've talked about the progression system coming we've seen the gameplay as well but now we got to talk about the nitty-gritty goodness the matchmaking what's the experience of playing the multiplayer going to feel like when playing reach on the mcc well in the dev update post from postums a few days ago he went into talking about the matchmaking system and they talked about the four main points they wanted to cover when it comes to bringing reach to the mcc that's one provide a robust playlist lineup for reach players on day one Number two, highlight the most unique and definitive Reach game modes and maps. Number three, respect legacy where possible, but intelligently diverge from legacy behavior where necessary to provide the best experience for modern audience. And number four, build a strong foundation for future matchmaking updates in sustain. So yeah, obviously bringing matchmaking to Halo Reach on the MCC, it's not just a simple, just copy and paste. There's a lot of things to take in consideration as a lot of things have changed since 2010 when the game was initially released. And so we're gonna go into what they decided to do when it comes to bringing matchmaking to MCC. In the blog post, they mentioned about how the, just like in Halo 2 and Halo 4, Reach also had a title update, which really significantly changed a lot of aspects of the game, as in saying that they reduced the reticle bloom, added melee shield bleed through as well, and tweaked armor abilities as well throughout the whole thing. But unlike Halo 2 and 4, the Reach's title update was not applied globally, it was added to specific playlists. So like for example, Team Slayer used vanilla settings while Big Team Battle used title update settings difference in bloom along with a jarring across playlists and otherwise comparable modes but it was just kind of a messy experience you weren't quite sure what kind of halo reach you were going to get but like we mentioned in the announcement video when it comes to showing halo reach on pc they decided to go with mainly the title update ones which basically improved the game to where the community liked it for the most part uh, so game modes like slayer will feature a dmr starts which is heavily weighted and then also have ar AR uh, pistol starts as well, which by the way, the pistol in Reach is actually pretty damn good after it was patched as well during that title update. Uh, so it's definitely a good weapon to use as well. Uh, like flag and bomb raise title update. They have all stockpile multi and one flag CTF, neutral multi and one bomb assault, uh, zone control matches. So for games like King of the Hill and Territories, we're going to be throwing in there. Asset denial, such as Headhunter and Oddball. Yes, right. Headhunter is coming back from, or, from Halo Reach. Definitely a unique mode. This is kind of an interesting take on uh, the free-for-all plays, for sure, adding a little bit of an objective there. Uh, SWAT is going to be coming in there as well for SWAT and SWAT with Magnums on top of that. Uh, team Snipers, obviously having Team Snipers right there. Uh, title update with Action Sack as well, so that means Fiesta, Elite Slayer, Dino Blasters, Bro Slayer, Flag Slayer, and also Speed Pile. And then you have game modes like Infection, which is going to be Infection and Alpha Zombies are going to be just vanilla settings or griff ball so griff ball griff ball dash and blog ball all going to be vanilla settings on top of that as well now so for the invasion game mode which is actually going to be ranked we'll get into that later is not going to be featuring the title update which i can totally understand as uh with invasion being a much bigger game mode you need to be able to cross an open field and having a reduced reticle bloom on your dmr makes it almost like a sniper rifle which makes it very difficult to move throughout the map so i can agree with this change and now talking about the ranking system there's going to be two reach modes that are going to be ranked one of them is going to be like a halo reach hardcore settings very similar to as you've seen from like halo 3 halo 2 hardcore but this will feature no bloom, no sprint, 
MLG version 7. Now they haven't locked down the exact modes and playlists and maps and everything else in between because the region went through a lot of changes throughout the MLG uh, experience. And so then they're still kind of locking down the details of that one. But essentially you just know that it's going to be how it was towards the end of Halo Reach when it comes to MLG settings. And like I mentioned earlier, they're actually going to make Invasion a ranked game mode, which I find kind of interesting because I don't really remember it being ranked. Maybe I just didn't really play it that much, though. It might have been the problem why I don't remember it. Uh, but uh, they are going to make it ranked as well. And also that the ranking system is going to be uh, their standard 1 through 50. It's not going to be like the Halo Reach uh, ranking system where we had, where we had like uh, different names and titles and things like that. It's going to be using the same thing throughout the rest of the MCC, which, again, one of those kind of changes where you're kind of making it for the better good to bring the game to bring some unison to the whole thing so totally understand that one and yes there will be firefight matchmaking just like in the regular halo rage but they're using a different kind of system so since they're using dedicated servers for this one so you much have a much smoother experience they have had issues when it comes to playing firefight and also the campaign as well if you're not the host of the game everything seems really framey and choppy and just not a good experience like i've actually never really had a good experience co-oping uh, the campaign or firefight uh, online. I've had a fantastic experience landing, like split screening, but uh, definitely not playing online. They said since they're playing on dedicated servers, there's a different kind of synchronization system that they're using for this. So then your experience will be much more fluid. So definitely, I will definitely find myself playing a lot more firefight campaign as well as invasion when it comes to reach coming to the MCC. Now there are also different variations of invasion. You had Slayer and Skirmish. Those will actually not be added in to this experience as he's saying that uh, with a rank you having a ranked game mode it doesn't really play out too well and so then what they're going to do is just kind of cut those out but then they're also going to mention how they have the three core invasion maps are going to be equally weighted in the uh with the forge variants also added in there if they need to as well which are going to be lower weighted and not only are we getting a lot of multiplayer options but we're also getting a campaign playlist much like we do with the other mcc games that we have right now uh that they're going to be mixing in some different kind of themed game playlists as well as in you know there's probably a good thing to know as well because uh we as we know from the past they've been able to reward us for playing certain playlists like when we had like the flood themed mcc experience going on you had to play the flood playlist and then you got like a name play from playing that playlist as well so then they'll probably do something very similar here to uh halo reach uh stating how this is well like has sort of a very themed kind of experiences with halo reach uh, as in you know different kind of difficulties as well and from just like regular difficulty all the way up to like lasso which is Lasso is something I don't know if I want to bother with, but I just definitely will will try uh, Legendary at, at the least, for sure. Uh, you know, just try different kind of scenarios, different kind of engagements and things like that uh, within the Reach campaign. So if you want to be like, man, I just want to play all the vehicle missions. Well, they'll probably set up something like that for you as well. So you get that to look forward to when it comes to uh, playing more than just the missions of the game as well, but also playing like a playlist that kind of give you like a reason to go back in and play and kind of give yourself a goal to finish out through a certain set of missions, which I've always really enjoyed when it comes to MCC. So yeah, to recap, with the social matchmaking com match composer, you pretty much expect to have the match settings that you would want to have when it comes to playing in Halo Reach. Title update settings, and all the key game modes you would expect to see come to the game. And then on top of that, we're also having Invasion coming in, which is going to be just like more core experience of, inv of Invasion. No Slayer or Skirmish mixed in there, because it's going to be a competitive system to that. And also having the MLG settings with Halo Reach for the V7 version with no zoom, no bloom, and no sprint. Which a lot of people have said that those are some of the best settings to ever come to Halo in general when it comes to competitive gaming. So I'll definitely have to give that a go as well because I, when I played Reach, I mainly played just like casual Slayer. That was kind of my jam when I played it back then. I was much more of a casual player then. And now with this, be, with this coming to the MCC, it'd be like a whole new experience for me to get a chance to enjoy this game. So I'm really looking forward to the guy. And I want to know if you guys are looking forward to it as well. So if you guys like this kind of video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video and the matchmaking that they're deciding to go with for Halo Reach on the MCC. Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Do you hate it? Leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply 
recommend most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, we'll stay up to date with anything Halo related. That's Halo Reach, uh, MCC, Halo 5, Halo Infinite coming around E3 right here, which we're going to be doing a live stream of that uh, viewing party with you guys. Uh, so make sure to check that out. And uh, so make sure to tap subscribe on the channel to keep up to date with anything Halo related. If you're new to the channel or mix any content from me, make sure, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.